All right, so this is what our stock sway bars look like. Um, I mean, stuff like comparison off the line. Much bigger, beefier, um, a lot stronger. These just use two ball joints um, style ends, which can rip and, you know, with time get noisy and stuff. And yeah, um, they're not adjustable. So if you have your Broncos lifted, the sway bar is a little close to the axle. If you go down, they take a look at it. Um, these you can extend them based on your lift or you know just in general adjust it but first impression side by side stock versus our Lynx which we've nicknamed Sasquatch Lynx fitting and here it is installed um, there will be a full install video and instructions this is just to show you what they look like lower bracket installed and lower control arm I've extended mine a little bit because I do have kings and I'm about at two and a half inches of lift but all bolts together no problems might be a little difficult I got one hand only remove the pin put that aside and remove this head I'm off camera that's why I was a little tense we don't want you to remove and install to make sure you're on flat ground but pretty much put the arm there and we have a Docker strap, which just wraps around here. Try. So here it is. You just put the strap around, such, tie it, pull it. They just keep it out of the way as you cycle. I had made a bracket, which is right up here to hold it up, but at full compression, the axle would hit the sway bar and it will it'll tap slightly it's not going to cause any issues but with the bracket i had made it did cause issues it would cause it would push it up and it bent my brake bracket so got rid of that idea went to the strap a lot simpler and it's on there it's not going to go over it's an hd strap weather resistant stainless steel buckle and keeps everything out of the way so and that's pretty much it